So this is something I'm actually pretty excited about. I have owned the most high-tech scales from Withings that they've put out in the past. Every single generation of their scanning scales I have had in my bathroom. This kind of puts everything that you might want in a scale into one package, including for the first time, segmented body composition readings. But it doesn't end there. You've got vascular aid, heart rate, it has a six lead ECG, and it has a nerve health assessment. And all of it comes together in this beautiful app in which you can look at trends over time, maybe get some feedback that you're not used to seeing. And this uncovers about as much data as you're gonna get from your body via scale on a regular basis. You can have up to eight people using one singular scale, 365 days worth of battery life. The model I have in front of me is black. I think there will be a white version at a later date. I've actually been waiting for this thing for a long time. It works with Apple Health and Google Fit, so lots of different integrations there. A much nicer to look at screen. Uh, the unboxing experience, not too much in there. You have a singular USB cable type C to A, but again, you're not gonna be using it all that frequently since you have about a year's worth of battery life. A Little bit of paperwork as well. Well, there is this small little mount bracket with a 3M sticky. I've got their smart blood pressure monitor, as you can see over here. It all shows up in the same application. They've got thermometers. They've got the sleep tracking device, which is one of my favorites because it goes underneath your mattress. It does not require a wearable. Because it's under your mattress, it's, in my opinion, just a little bit more consistent than something that you wear so long as you happen to be sleeping on that mattress. The group of devices available via the ScanWatch brand, that's expanded as well. There's more to choose from now than there has been in the past. And then when it comes to scales, I know you're going to be looking at the body composition scale here, the body scan and saying, okay, pretty expensive. It's a premium product. Although I would say to you, like, what is your health worth? If you see this data as being useful or possibly making lifestyle adjustments based on that information, but then they've also got others that are still going to do a lot of smart things all the way down to $59. You can see there's a variety of different options in there. Oh my God, they've got your analysis now too. Check it out. After effortless urine lab at home. Cool. One more body gadget for me to get. Okay, so this is what the scale looks like. Obviously, it's got this kind of subtle bar structure. It serves a purpose. It's not strictly designed. Obviously, you've got your sensors and the necessary pulse being emitted up into your body in order to give you that feedback. But what's different about this one is this handle. And this is sort of resistance loaded. So like you can easily hold it, but then it also kind of wants to go back into its home. So we can utilize our handle if we don't want to bend over. The important sensors here are are labeled L and R, and that's where you're going to put your thumbs. The bottom portion of your hand is gonna sit on these metallic contacts here, and then your thumbs on the top in order to complete that signal, which is gonna travel through your upper body, through each hand, and then be able to give you that composition feedback. It's kind of cool because you don't see the location of the display until you actually press on the device, and then it just pops up on its own. So every time you measure in, it'll start with weight. It will automatically identify the user based on historical uh, measurements data, then it will move through the variety of other things that it can show you. You will actually see a trend line pop up so you can see if it's an increase or a decrease in overall weight and you can stand for the one minute in order to get the electrocardiogram. If you guys are unfamiliar with an ECG measurement, this is the recording of the electrical signals produced by the heart, essentially indicating the health of the electrical functionality of the heart. BodyScan has a six lead ECG sensor, which will be FDA cleared to detect normal heart rhythms or atrial fibrillation, which is the most common form of arrhythmia. Now, there's not much to look at on the outside of the device, which is good. You want something simple to sit in your bathroom or wherever you keep your scale. All you have is a USB-C connector to charge it up once every so often. There is one button as well, which is used basically if you want to reset the device. Very rarely used as well. So setting up the device, you'll do so within your app. Let's talk a little bit more about that app. Believe it or not, Mo has had a chance to try the body scan before me. And so he's actually got his data in here prior to me actually having any data myself. You can see how clean the app looks. Now, obviously you're gonna wanna measure yourself at a consistent time, like first thing in the morning, empty stomach, easy to reflect on your data, knowing that those parameters are met. We have our body mass index, BMI, healthy trends. You have your metabolic age. Then the body composition comes in. You can see muscle mass, fat mass, and then we can also get an actual breakdown, and I guess this is gonna be Mo's body right here, which we have your permission, right, Mo, <laughs> yeah. to look at the breakdown here. I think this is actually pretty typical. You have the fat mass broken down in the arms, the legs, and the torso, and then you can see the number relative to other Withings 
Withings users. And it's important to note, Mo, before you get stressed about it, Withings users are often extremely fit. Yes, extremely fit users. If you're spending this kind of money on a scale, it's gonna appeal to people who are in great physical fitness. So you actually have very little fat mass in your arms compared to other Withings users. What's crazy is I can actually like click on the torso here, lowest rank, 10% of Withings users have less than 19.4% fat in their torsos who share your approximate age and height. It's all proportionate. Actually, lowest is reflected by the least amount of color. And then the darker the color, the more you're sort of going up to the middle part of the scale. If we click on muscle mass, we can see similar actually. So like lowest being represented in the lighter color and then highest in the darker color. A anyway, this is a really cool way that they have introduced this graphic. It's just a better way to visualize and it's exclusive to the segmental body composition, which the latest scale is capable of. So the reason we're able to get this segmented information is because of the sensors on the scale, the sensors being not just in the feet, but also in the hands. And the hands are gonna be contributing the upper portion of the analysis. That's where you're gonna get your arms and your torso in the mix and not just your lower body. Vascular age is interesting. For me, this is a big motivator, maybe even more so than the other measurements because essentially this is encouraging you to get exercise. Like good old fashioned, like go out and be active, your arteries will thank you. But obviously there's all kinds of medical ways in which to track and gather information like this. But this is a sort of always there, everyday way of getting some sort of data point that you can then relate to a previous data point. You can see here, it will give you a range and then it will give you a trend as well for that vascular age. There's also something called electrodermal activity. Electrodermal activity score gives you an indication of your nervous system's control of sweat gland activity in your feet. This thing is cool. Like, do I have you on board? I think I have you on board. When else are you gonna run this type of analysis? Measures and assesses the activity of the sweat glands in the soles of your feet, helps manage your overall health as part of a healthy lifestyle. Sweat gland activity is measured by stimulating the nerves that control those sweat glands in your feet. And it's a marker for the effect of your emotions on your body. EDA tracks the intensity of your emotions over time. Monthly EDA can help you understand your average stress levels over time. This is extremely cool information to have as well. We're also going to get heart rate. This is just standing heart rate. It's measured alongside those other data points. By the way, any other Withings devices that you have are also going to be contributing to this overall data within the application without the need for you to sort of bounce out and check other places, but it will just be contributing to this overall data set. Like activity, like you would have activity on here if you were wearing one of their